we are for round three. All right. Charging Badgers All back rounded. in our rightful place in the finals. Uh, we're going to keep this That's one. Right. Sweet. Whoa, man, our opponent's so lucky they kept two. All right. Now, this is interesting. What do you think we play next time if we don't draw anything relevant? Uh, it depends what he, it depends what if he does anything. So crack the wilds at the turn. Don't miss that one. And get a mountain yep. for sure. All right. Um, I think, well, we don't have a spell, so we have no backup to Majoring Bully. If he goes Water Courser, yeah. that's so bad. Yep. So I think Tropen Flea Bit Free Blade's probably that's, the safest. That's spell. what I like as well. And, like, if we can go, if we can draw a spell in the next two or three turns, like, Knight next turn, Majoring Bully, Majoring Bully, and then a spell or two in hand, that's pretty mm -hmm. good. All right. It's weird that he doesn't have Ooh. a three. I don't know what. Uh, so Chandra, uh, and then we can flip her next turn? Potentially. Yeah, I guess we go with Chandra. Let's attack first. See if we can draw sure. some sort of spell. I think that's, I mean, I think that's good enough to, to risk, right? Uh, play Chandra? Yeah. Yeah, I think Chandra's, I think Chandra's the play. Like, it, and we know he doesn't have the shock. Yep, he would have fiery impulse. I'm pretty sure. He could have a lightning javelin here, which would then force him to use it on Chandra, and we get in for three next turn and follow up with yeah. a knight or maybe a maple. Yeah. So yeah, I think Chandra's play. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Draw two, discard. Yep. Got rid of aspiring aeronaut and was that another? That in the oh, there's the Werler's rogue. Yeah, that's a good card. Yep. What is so... Uh, I know It's tap two artifacts, target creatures, unblockable. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, can't be blocked. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. No, it's tap We've two untapped... Two boundaries. What? Tap two untapped artifacts you control. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... You really want to draw a spell here. Why? Set up uh, double majoring. Okay. Well, to set up double major. Oh, I see. Uh... Yeah, so I think we just flip Chandra here. And then plus her? Oh, you're right. We can. Uh, no, right hold. So we. Oh, you're. Oh, yeah. So we're actually going to do this. Yeah. Sorry. Um, all right. So we. Let me just. Let's look. You can hover over and see her yep. ability. You're a little bit gun shy here. Okay. Uh, minus two deals two damage to target creature. Plus one. We have. Yeah. Uh, I think we plus her, right? Because yeah. Well, her. actually, let's we attack with a free blade first, and maybe it'll chump. Oh yeah. Sure, sure, sure. He could chump or try to like trade off, but that seems bad. Yeah, if he trades off, we're in really but good shape, then, I think. Even then, we're gonna have three ground blockers. He can make the world of rogue blockable, but she's at five power. Like, and he taps out his team to do that. Yeah. He could attack with the artifacts. Uh, oh wait. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now you can do it with them on the stack, but uh, that's not, it's better that's to not just screw around. <laughs> that's right. I do. Yep, so now tap Chandra again. Wants to... We can do it now, I guess. Majoring, you yeah. know. And he doesn't even have good blocks in these major no. bullies right now. <laughs> no, he's under a lot of stress it's here. Big. And we just plus her, right? Yep, and we just plus her. Wow, Chandra flip is the first time I've seen it. <laughs> Brutal, man. <laughs> like... And yeah, now he's in trouble because the Chandra can threaten to kill a blocker. Like, yeah, we're in good shape here, I think. When her ultimate's at, at these... seven, so... Water course is yeah, water. one of the better cards here, but... It is. Hopefully, if we draw a spell, holy cow, is that good for us? Come on. 
Wait a minute, Chandra, Checking... okay. Chandra. That's also pretty good. Um, yeah. I think we just, yeah. we just slam, we right? Slam with, we, we, we slam. Slam and plus? If he wants to dirt around, yep. If he wants to dirtle around with trying to kill a majoring bully and take, uh, he could, blo could block a mid, he'd take five plus two on Chandra, means he would take seven this turn, and we'd have two creatures in play. You have a disperse, I guess. Oh, he does have this disperse. Ooh. Fire concussion. Attacking a thopter? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're okay with that. Yeah. And then we plus Chandra. Yeah, like we're we're pressuring him enough that he had to trade off that Whirler Rogue. Like instead of just waiting another turn yep. and eating it. And he can't really he can't attack with Water Courser right now. He can only do one damage with the Thopter to Chandra, so we can do two again next turn. He can definitely get out of this. He's got four cards. Uh okay. So he can kill Chandra now? Yeah. So that was pretty good for him. We could follow up with two creatures. So now we're probably at a stalemate here. We're at, we're at a stalemate, but we're pretty far ahead on life. And uh, do we, we are have spellmaster yet? Got a lot. Of uh, no, don't know. No, we we haven't played any spells. <laughs> I would keep the I would keep the planes in hand. I don't think there's reason to play it. <laughs> More ferocious beast attacks going on I, over there. She's relentless right now. I don't know what her deal is. I guess I didn't have a chance to take her for a walk, so she has all this energy. I am not being murdered by my dog, everyone. Ooh. The attack is for one. Board is stalled. Suppression bounds will be good. Titan strength. I don't think that's enough. We hold it. Yeah. What does he need to attack with that deep sea thing? Seven cards in graveyard. Seven or more, yeah. And he's at he's sitting at five right now. Yeah, but it's a good defender for him, so like attacking is probably beneficial to us. So he probably doesn't know. He's not really insane. He might not attack with it, even if he could. There we go. Good. Sentinel would be great. Ooh. Wow, someone actually played that. Yep. Card. We got got by it, but. That's fine. Well, yeah, but I mean, like I said, if we draw Sentinel off the top there and he slams that, like, that's super good for him. Yeah, Foundry now can activate, and then he gets the Deep Sea Terror. Yep, Foundry's pretty good. Well, and Foundry's pretty good on its own, so... Against us. He's gonna start pinging us for three a turn. He could have attacked there. Rogue's Passage would be really good for us. Yeah. Rogue's Passage would be Rogue's game. Passage would be game. Well, unless he has something else. Yep. Brute's good. Okay. Yep. Brute might actually force him to hold back Deep Sea Terror or whatever. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, but if he, if he, th like, here's the thing, he's dead to Titan Strength, so unless he has removal and he goes for, like, if he only leaves, oh, that kills a creature. Got yeah. It. Yeah. Sorry, I thought it did damage. Yeah, no, that's... I didn't realize it killed a creature. Rogue's Passage still wins. If, oh, if he, I was hoping you attacked the Water Courser. We don't have any blocks here, right? Nope. Uh, Russian Bond wins for us now, probably. No, no blocks.
Ha! Yep, we gotta go for it. We're dead, so... Yep. Can't afford to wait a turn. We can attack with... Yeah, we just we just go for... There's the minus two, minus zero card, so yes, we know it doesn't matter which one we attack with, so yeah, make them unblockable. Fight in strength and hope we get there. Oh, bummer. Wow, had it. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, that guy had everything. Yep. <laughs> Brutal. I mean, we had the top deck. Shut up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I think if we're on the play, we easily win that game. We're on the draw, yep. so... Um, I think I think there was enough targets for a smash. Yes, I agree. I gonna drop one of the majoring bullies. Yep. Although, go to sort by curve again. We've never seen a sentinel. <laughs> no, we haven't seen it. Uh, yeah, I think we run this. Charlie agrees. Lay down. Yeah, she's been going. She's literally been playing with me for an hour <laughs> straight. Ugh. Uh, it's a mo it, Yeah. Oh, come on. And a fitting charging badger yep. ending. Oh. What? We'll get a planes. No, no, I mean, uh, yeah, we'll go get a planes. Bully on turn two. Maybe we draw a bunch of spells or a bunch of creatures. Yep. I mean, it will be a 3-3 three, three on turn three. Yeah. And, yeah, we are in a position where spells or creatures are, are decent. I'd rather have creatures, yep. but... Hmm. Oh. I think we... Uh, I would attack and play Acolyte, right? Yeah. Because we'll take... Because if he plays, like, a Water Courser, uh, we could it still let us attack with a Majoring Bully next turn. He was hoping this is one of those where we mulligan when we should have and our opponent didn't mulligan when he should have. Could be, yeah. Still only one That's color. good. That means he's second color, yeah. Oh, I think, I think we just angels. We tomb hold the and hold the anointer. Angels tomb hold the. Anointer. Yep. And we do a pre-combat to so give the yep. plus one there. Oops. I have a feeling he has like a disperse here or something, but that's okay. Maybe not. Artificers, yeah. So this is like his exact start from last yep. game, right? He got down a bunch, played that to draw into some stuff. Trash <laughs> land. He probably needs the second color. Discarding there an island, is. yeah. <laughs> There's his red. Forcer, Sphinx's tutelage. That might not be enough here. Okay. He does have the shock open right now. Yeah. Ooh. I think we fired uh, We just fired absolutely. That was like an amazing draw. Because yeah. even if he has the shock here, um, he's taking five, six, seven, eight. There's the shock. <laughs> yep. Shocking. Yep. But he's but but that's great, right? Because now he's taking he's still taking eight because we're gonna attack with the tomb. And he's we're, we're good. We're okay. <laughs> yeah. The anointer is gonna let us attack with the tomb next turn. And he's got to play a second blocker too, so or have two ways to deal with. Uh, like a Whirler Rogue would buy him time here. Oh, good! He got rid of our Majoring Bully. 
the Smash, I'm not so sad. I'm not so happy to see him. Yeah, it would be nice to have the Smash like right now. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the anointer and. Oops. Yep. Not that one. Can't bone to ash. So he needs a trick or something here. So he took all the fire impulses, or oh, well, I shouldn't say that. He took one of the fire impulses. That was that would have been a really good card in our deck. Mm -hmm. Gotta have something, right? Yeah. Fiery conclusion again. Targeting. Oh, sweet. So we just mighty leap and win? Mighty leap. Wait, what did he target, yeah. though? Where, what, did he, what, does he, what is he targeting with the conclusion? Uh, the angel's tomb. Yes, yeah, so we target the majoring bully. Yep. That is that is pretty awesome. Thank you, Rune Servitor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow. The five. I mean, so yeah. again, the power of a mullet and understanding what card games, what cards you need to win, yep. what hands can win you the game and what can't. Yep. Uh, on the draw, does anything change? Demolish could be good against that. Maybe is, so is Demolish worth bringing in because he's got that one land that makes two one ones? Um... The problem I'm is not, not a I'm good not aggressive card, for... and I think that we want to stay aggressive against him because I think that he wins the long game. Okay. What about dropping the vial for something? Like, what about act of treason for the vial? If his plan is to like stabilize and then. I feel like... Yeah, but I feel like he's got a low, a lot of little dude. Like, if he was playing like. A big four drop to get in the way uh -huh. that stopped us, but like he's in like Whirler Roads sure. and other yeah. stoppers. Yeah, that's a good point. I, feel like, like I don't feel like it's like if Act of Treason's at its best against a guy who's trying to stabilize with a four green or five track. drop and you just take that's green in the game, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I like, I really like Vile too because it could like get us through for a little bit. It triggers our majoring bullies early, okay. which are yep. definitely important. Yeah. So I like our build. I like our build here. Okay. Think we keep this? I think we keep on the draw. We have we have a two drop. It's not the best two drop, no. but it's a two drop. And we've got a three and a four after He's that. He's at five cards. He's we still need to draw land, so it's not over, and we just won on a five, so yep. and there's the worst draw back. Yep. <laughs> so. It's the first time we saw it though. Yeah, hey, it exists. Wow. And there he's got the counter to our uh both of our things. We just want to land. Any lands are good here. I think we still play the subterranean here. Oh yeah. So, yep. If we have to, we might even yeah. price into Titan Strength it to uh, uh, just get a scry. Yeah, I know. I like that. I mean, I don't like it, but I like that we have it as an option. Yep. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's the land. That yeah, counts. Acolyte here? Or... Yep, and he can't count going to Ash, so I play Acolyte, right? Yeah. Yeah, 100% Acolyte. No attacks, obviously. Nope. The game's definitely not over, so... Nice. Oh, wow. Be good. Um, what if we just Fire Fiend here? And just attack with that? And attack. And just the Fire Fiend? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with that. I think I think with him having just three lands, I think doing something silly like setting us up to get two for one and allowing that, that's what's going to allow him to get back into the game. Okay. We have enough tricks to deal with whatever else yep. you can play. 
So making him use something here is good, I think, for us. That's good for okay. him. But I feel like that was there's no outcome where that wasn't gonna be good. Yep. Like I said. Yep. So and it could have been much worse if we did something like now we still have two creatures on the board. Yeah. Yep. That's and that's like as good as it gets for him right there, right? Yeah. Yep. Now we're two lands away from Sentinel. We have a bunch of tricks. If he plays like a Whirler Rogue here, we can smash one of the Thopters. Well uh I think we I think we attack with yeah. that now. Do we use that or the Titan Strength? Well, you still there? I'm still there. I'm thinking. We have so many tricks. Yeah. I, yeah, I think we're priced into using one here. And I think it's the Titan Strength. I, okay, I think so too. We want the Scry. Yep. And if he has a Disperse or something, so be it. He's yeah. I mean, that's still a card. That's card parity for him, and we have a lot more cards. We're under no pressure. Yep, and we're under no pressure from the maritime guard. So, and actually, the enshrouding mist could play around like another fiery impulse. We want that. We want to get to sentinel right yeah, now. I think. Yep. Yeah, sentinel will just put us in really good shape. I think the only thing that. that is a is like a bone to ash if he has it. Or the robe. Yep. <laughs> do we just smash one of those on the end step? I think we do. Yeah, I think we're going to be mana constrained enough that it's not worth waiting around for a better target. Yep. Serve? Uh, or we could just Rogue's Passage. Are we are we winning the race on two for three? Um, yeah, with the Mighty Leap. Yeah, with Mighty Leap and Insure. Yeah, I think with the Sentinel coming down too. Yeah, well, assuming we get the Sentinel yeah. down, but yeah, but, okay, let's just Rogue Passage. Well, it's fine. There's not a spell that there's not a spell that we can't cast at this point. And right. if we draw land, we have the Sentinel, so. That's not me tempting our deck, by the way. Yeah, I know. Oh, sure. Yeah, I guess that does. That's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> I guess that's something we could have played around I should have and should have. But how would we have played around that? Well, we knew we had it. We could have just held up in shrouding. Oh, I see. Yeah, honestly, though, I don't know. Okay. All right, Sentinel. Sentinel. Sentinel, beat this. <laughs> Block the 2 3. Yeah, no, the two, three. Yep. I guess we could have tapped yeah, on the artifact have blocked, it. but let's wait until we have Enshrouding messed up for that. Yep. <laughs> Just swing and bully? Uh, yep. I, I can't even think of tricks here that would... He has I can't either. Chain to the Earth. Yep, he can bounce it or something like that, uh, but... I think, yeah, I'm majoring bully now. I guess this lets him our, play the bone to Ash, but I think if this gets counter we're okay with that. Yep. Just let him. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know. I guess that's. I guess that could be bad if he doesn't have an answer, but he's but still going to get. Moved otherwise, we're it. neither one of us is playing any spells the rest of the game. I think here now we can t yeah. tap the Thopter and then block. Because we have sure. shrouding missed up. Sure. Just swing? Or we could Rogue's Passage. 
Uh, I almost like rogue's passaging here, and then then we have, yeah. Oh, it's it's bad to get bounce. Just attack. If he bounces it, we wanted the ability to replay sure. it this turn. He had, he showed no ability with anything in his hand to deal with it. And this sets actually this sets up a rogue's passage win next turn. Mm -hmm. Like if he taps out for like yep. six six here. Yep. He's dead. Yep. Sweet. As long as it, yeah. We don't actually even have to rogue's passage. Oh, we need to draw land. Sorry, we do need to draw land. Why? We just mighty leap. Because we need... mighty leap and enshrouding. Oh no, you're right. Let's fly over. Here we just fly over. Yeah. No, I was thinking rogue's passage and then use both of those. But you're. Yeah. We just fly over. Or you can go for the sweet rogue's passage victory if you want. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Jeez. The good old flying sentinel that's enshrouded in mist for Exaxes. I told you guys this is the best uncommon in the set. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, bloody you. <laughs> How is this deck bad? <laughs> I don't know what he said. I guess about. I don't he know the format by... then. Because this deck uh, seems sweet. He got crushed on it on a mold of five, and then. And didn't we almost yeah. kill? Like, didn't we almost kill the him on turn like seven or eight, game one? Uh, we did. He base basically. Well, no. There's. I'll give him credit for the game one win. But yeah, we if we were on the play, we'd probably win that yep. game. He stabilized. He was at five, and we were still draw. We were still draws away from winning. Yep. We had Rogue's passage for the win, and he had the fiery impulse out. So yeah. Hey, the salt is real. The salt I, is honestly, real. The salt, I, honestly, like, it's, believe me, it's good on this. We us <laughs> at charging badgers are experts on bad decks. This is not a bad deck. <laughs> We know all about them. And yeah. This was a very, this was a very aggressive, curve-based deck in two of the better colors yeah. in the set. I mean, our um, worst cards were probably these mage ring bullies, and honestly, I'm happy to great. run one of them. It's the the biggest weakness in our deck was that yeah. we had three of them. Yeah. Like, and besides and, that, pretty much all never, of our cards are good. But in fact, it never cost us. There was only one game. Uh, where he, it was this game where he traded a, he basically got a water courser to block one for free. Yep. That was the only time he got a free block. Yeah. And anybody got a free block in three games against us. Yep. So, what else? Hey, I, I don't know. The, sal the salty tears kind of feel good. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We never, I, no I normally don't. We never had our, got our suppression bonds. Never drew our suppression bonds. We flipped Chandra. Hey, Good. that was a fun, yeah. fun draft. Finally got an Orange win. Uh, we'll be posting this tomorrow on YouTube and sharing it for everybody. Um, got any final thoughts, Brian? Uh, thanks to our uh, guest co-host, Charlie. Yeah, thanks to the vicious Cujo in the background that you heard this whole time. My arm is now halfway eaten by the ravaging dog. Um, but, yeah, All right. uh, we'll be back thinking next week uh we'll post these tomorrow on youtube and uh yeah uh this is